pretty sure the trauma part is everybody's least favorite part about DID. So, last night we had quite the experience, we unearthed a uh, kind of a trauma memory, and that has been pretty impactful and pretty unpleasant, not gonna lie. We were kind of um, thrown totally for a loop here, and there's always something unexpected that kind of pops up randomly. So I figured I'd talk a little bit about, like, after you get the flashbacks and after you find the memories and stuff and kind of... How to move forward from this, I suppose. So I'd say the first thing to do is try to make yourself comfortable after all that happens because that can be a really unpleasant thing and kind of feeling safe is the first step to processing things a little bit more. So uh, we ended up calling out of one of our classes today. We have another one later in the afternoon and I'm not sure if I'm gonna go to that. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. But, um, yeah, call out if you're not feeling very well. I would certainly recommend that if you would have uh, difficulty getting through what you're supposed to get through in the day. Kind of give yourself a break because remembering something like that can take a lot out of you and taking care of yourself is really important. Like, definitely practice self-care. Self-care is a really important thing during times like this, so if you want to see some more methods for that, check out our uh, self-care and DID video from earlier. Uh, that might have some tips that help you out. And another thing, if you really need to get out of school or class or work or something like that, um, a little helpful tip that we figured out is to say that you've been throwing up because nobody wants that in their school or workplace so if you need a way out you can just say that you've been sick to your stomach and people will be like oh okay feel better soon stay home so keep keep that in mind it's a good thing to remember and like for times like this make sure that your body is well taken care of like get yourself something to eat stay hydrated we went to starbucks earlier and got ourselves some breakfast so just do something small. It doesn't have to be like a full meal. As long as you have like something in your stomach, that should be good. And a lot of things for like care after trauma might seem weird, but what I believe is like, if it's helping you out, then it's not weird. <laughs> like we popped out to the Walgreens earlier today and I bought an ACE bandage and wrapped it around our stomach because that's the part that was giving us the most trouble. We have like trauma around our stomach and that, that's been helping. Like pressure, good, pressure is good. Um, physical memories can be something that's really difficult to handle. So if there's something that helps you out with that, like more power to that, get that, get that helping thing, whatever it is. If it's like a brace or like bandages or something, it'll help you out and like, um, if there are younger parts who carry the memories and are having trouble with that, even like holding like a stuffed animal or something, I've been keeping this stuffed bat with me for a while because it makes that younger part feel a lot safer. And I appreciate that. And one of the most important things is to try to begin to process the trauma, like the things that have happened and reminding yourself that these things are in the past and that it's over uh, you were not at fault for any of this, you're not a bad person because these things have happened to you, and you are stronger now. You're not the same person that went through those things in the past, and I believe that everybody, you guys can get through it. You guys are strong and loved, and it's gonna be okay. Just remind yourself that it's gonna be okay, because it will. It might not seem like it at the moment here, but it will in the future. You just gotta take care of yourself and like, do treat yourself like you're injured because this is basically an injury even though it's a memory and in your brain, like you were still hurt and you need to recover and be gentle on yourself in these times. So please keep that in mind. Please stay safe out there guys and I'll see you in the next video. And one more thing to remember is that your altars are there to help you through these things. Like, your altars are literally there because of the trauma that you experienced. So if you experience yourself switching more often during these times, 
I kind of just let it happen because, or at least in our case, at least in our case, we kind of just let that happen because sometimes taking a break is really good too to kind of let yourself relax and just get through all that stuff. So yeah, let your altars help you, let them do their job. If you have a lot of protectors and self-care altars surfacing during these times, let them have it. <laughs> they might be able to take care of things and help with um, taking care of the body and getting things done during these times. So yeah, altars are there to help you. And there's no shame in needing help for things like this. 